In this video, I just want to show you how to create yourself a fave icon. Now, basically, a fave icon, or sometimes known as a favicon, is that little picture that you see up in the top of your web browser near the name of the page. So, in the tab up the top here, we've got this little picture of a volleyball next to the name Volleyball Australia, and that little picture is known as the fave icon. And that's what we're going to be making ourselves today. Now, if you go to a web page, any web page, and you actually save it in your favorites, that little icon will also appear in your list of favorites. So, as I go down my list of favorites here, some of these pages, not all, but most of them, have a little fave icon attached to the page just to personalize their page nicely. You can see in my bookmarks bar across the top of the page, there's also little fave icons next to the name of those pages. So, that is a handy little uh, feature to have in your website. So to get started today, you need to find uh, a image editing program, for example Photoshop, to create your fave icon in. Okay, because the web page I'm going to be working with today is one about Volleyball Australia, I've decided that I'm going to use this part of the logo as my fave icon. So I have used my selection tool to select that fave. I uh, sorry to select that volleyball, and all I'm going to do is just copy that. Once copied, I'm going to make myself a brand new document up. Now the document that you create needs to be about 64 by 64 pixels. Should be at 72 pixels per inch resolution, RGB color, and you should have a transparent background. That's an important one. Once you've got those set up, click on OK, and you should get a little box on your screen where you can create your fave icon. So all I need to do now is just paste in the volleyball, and it basically fits perfect. I could just resize that ever so slightly making sure it doesn't go off the edge of the page. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's my fave icon. Okay, pretty simple to create. So I'm going to get a file and save as now. And when you save this, you want to make sure that you stick it in your images folder with all your other uh, website images, and you want to save it as a PNG. The reason we save it as a PNG file is because it supports transparency, so you can have that transparent background. I'm just going to give it the name Fave Icon and I'm going to click on Save. Okay, so that's our Fave Icon all made up. What we need to do next is just go over to our web design program and as you can see I'm just using brackets here to create my website. If I also have a preview of this website quickly I'll just show you what it's looking like at the moment. At the moment we have no Fave Icon in the top left hand corner of the page there where we've got the tab name, it's just an empty piece of paper. So it does look a little bit boring, it hasn't really got that personal touch on the web page. So if we put this fave icon in, it's definitely going to make it look better. So the position we put the fave icon code is into the head section of our web page. Okay, so look for your head section. You should have a title in there and you may have a, a link to a style sheet. What I'm going to do is just go beneath that link to the style sheet and I'm going to put in another link. So I'm going to open up my point in brackets and write the word link. And I'm going to write the word rel equals and in quotation marks I'm going to simply write the word icon. Outside of those quotation marks we're just going to add in the file path now of where we can find that fave icon. Fave icon sorry. So you write href equals and in quotation marks we look into our images folder and select the fave icon PNG file. You can close your pointy brackets and that's it. Okay so make sure you've got that single line of code inside your head section somewhere. Basically saying we're using an icon and the file path where we can find that icon. I'm going to press Control S to save that page now. I'll just go back to my web browser and refresh this. And you can see now my fave icon in the top left hand corner has changed into that little volleyball logo that I created in Photoshop just before. Okay, so I think that's a nice touch there. If I was to save this into my favorites, let's see if it comes up right down the bottom we've got Volleyball Australia and we've got a little fave icon next to that as well okay so that's looking really good uh, that's about it for this tutorial so make sure everything's saved up and you're done